Hey, what's going on? Patreon only. Just wanted to go over uh, what a lot of tweets have been asking me and people in the Discord and also uh, look at today's charts and discuss it to see if there's any uh, truth and distribution up here. Which I will lead off that no, I don't think so at the moment. But uh, let's discuss this. This video will be available later if, if somebody needs to watch it or if you want to send it to somebody else. I don't know if I'll make it public or not, but we'll see. So uh, in front of us is a distribution. And you can see here, it's a somatic that stock charts did up the right-hand corner. They did this by mistake years ago. There is no sign of weakness in phase B. Some of that came from uh, this here. If you can, you probably can't see that very well, but that is a somatic from an SMI course. And uh, you can see if you looked at that, if I could blow it up. I'm not sure how to. Hold on a second. There we are. You can look at that and tell that the SOW someone has written in. They wrote that in because it's not in the same text as LS, LPSY, UTAD, etc. So somebody took our original somatic, wrote in SOW there for a sign of weakness, and then stock charts at some point ran with it. And uh, the problem with that. Here's the definition of uh, sign of weakness from our website, wyckoffsmi.com. This is the original definition. If you read over this, it says any possible or potential sign of weakness must be, must be confirmed, denied, or left in doubt by the subsequent rally. The critical thing is not how far the stock rallies or cryptocurrency, whatever we're looking at. The critical thing is how it rallies. If it rallies with a gradual decrease in demand, evidenced by a narrowing spread and decreased volume, and with a lower top, this could prove that the previous reaction was a sign of weakness. Now, you can't have increased spread, new highs for the move into this upthrust, the UT, and then go back and call the previous decline an SOW a sign of weakness. There's no way that uh, can't happen. So the sign of weakness, again, put there by stock charts years ago by mistake. Everyone just happened to run with that, but uh, it's not true. So if we look at, uh, let's go back now and look at our, uh, this is today's action in Bitcoin. The Bitcoin USD consolidated daily chart. So if you believe the somatic that we're talking about, I put everything on this chart then so we can discuss it. And hold on, let me, uh, let's just go to the software. So here we are then. I don't have the sign of weakness labeled here again, because it's not a sign of weakness. Everything else I've labeled as a somatic. So PSY's preliminary supply Buying climax. Let's talk about that first. A buying climax definition. The, the main thing about a buying climax is that it has increased volume and a widening spread as it moves up. And again, this is under library at wycopsmi.com if you want to look at our glossary. Increased volume and a widening spread as it moves up. Kind of tough to call that buying climax a buying climax because volume was not heavy going into that rally as marked by the blue arrow. So price action looks a little climactic. The decline off of it looks a little climactic, but definitely volume wasn't there. Like that was a major important rush to buy in a buying climax. So that bothers me a little bit. So then you have the automatic reaction. Okay, secondary test is about a 50% rally off of the previous decline. Would have been nice if it would have done a little bit cleaner selling 
for secondary tests, but we'll go with that. If we look at uh, look at the OP here, then. Volume since this high back at uh, 42,000, volume has been in a sustained downtrend. And even here in the last uh, week, it's been an even a more sustained downtrend. So we did get an overbought technometer at the buying climax. Volume didn't go to a new high. So that did tell you that high was suspect. Again, I don't know if it was a buying climax. It was just suspect. And uh, volume did come in. We had two nice red bars here off the high, as not a back reaction would have. And uh, on this decline here, we had a new low in the OP. Price held higher, oversold technometer. That's why we ended up buying uh, 52,000 and change, as we did for the Discord. And then we did rally up to these highs, and we thought, well, maybe that's enough thrust in the test. Volume didn't come in very well, so we sold around 58,000. We did buy back on this ABC decline. And uh, as you know, we sold at 58,200, I believe it was. We missed the actual up thrust here. We did have almost an overbought reading. The volume is, as everybody knows, is completely uh, slowed up here going into that high. Didn't have a lot of volume into the high. We had good volume on the on the uh, liquidation day, Saturday. But now here we are, new low in the OP. And we got an oversold technometer that you know, that's why I'm long here uh, at the 54.5 level. Bitcoin right now, 54.880, showing a little bit of weakness. Ethereum, 23.96, bought about 65 off the high. Not liking that action, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But it looks like now that we've had a lot of selling volume while price is still held. So I, I'm still not you know, comfortable calling this distribution because you would have thought we'd have fell out of here way quicker than we have with the volume on the downside that we have had. It still seems like somebody's supporting price here. So, uh, you know, this might be labeled right. This just might be an up thrust. This isn't distribution. We're just going to mouse around here and go through more accumulation. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to look at this also as an Elliott Way pattern, trying to figure out. I mean, I guess I would think of nothing else. I was expecting some type of rally over here to the right in a week or two that would maybe give us a test of the buying climax level of this trading range or give us a rally up in here to test this up thrust. And then maybe those things would come together to give us a good sell. But right now, I don't really, like I said, I don't think we're going to see a collapse here. I'm not happy if 53, 270 is taken out. Our stop level, that would definitely concerns me. Taking out this low uh, here at 54, 2 or 3 concerns me as well. So I'm not liking the short-term action. I just wanted to talk about the sign of weakness being mislabeled buying climax really doesn't have the volume on it this could just be some sideways accumulation for further highs which again that's what i think it is the stock market i've been bearish today they reversed i didn't get a good buy signal off the low i don't know if there's a little more downside in stocks maybe a little more downside in bitcoin but uh, for right now i don't think we're in a crash mode i don't think we're in distribution